Choosing the right primary school for your child is a major decision, but how do you make the right choice? Joining us to give his advice is both a parent and a principal, Peter Crompton from Auckland's Ficino School. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So first up, why is it so important to pick the right primary school? Well, a lot of parents think that the secondary school is the most important thing because that's where the exams take place. But actually, um, primary school is where the foundation's built. And if you don't build a strong foundation, then you've got nothing to work with at secondary school. Mm. So all the kind of learning habits are established at primary school, the love of learning, those sorts of things. So you've got to establish that. Yeah. So as a parent, what were you looking for when your children started primary school? Yeah, well, that, that's a good question. It's always, you're sort of thrown in the deep end as a parent. And... Um, uh, we were looking for to see how the how enthusiastic the teachers were and how they worked with the children and how they viewed the children. Um, also, just the um, I mean that interaction, that point where the teacher meets the child, that's the point where education really takes place. Um, but also um, getting the basics in, you know, the basics of reading, writing and maths, um, they're still really important in this digital age. Mm. And that relationship that your child has with their teacher, you're right, it is very important. You can really learn a important. lot in those first few, first few moments of meeting. Yes, absolutely. So where do parents begin with the researching to find a good primary school? Well, it's, it's so much easier today with the internet. So obviously the first place to go is the website. Um, go to a school's website and you'll find out lots of information there but it's also worth taking a look at the prospectus because that's a kind of distilled um, best parts of the school and you'll see what they what they really want to showcase um, but also um, it's important to talk to people who have are associated with the school either parents who have children at the school or else um, you know somebody who's been to the school because then you're going to avoid all the all the marketing spiel mm. and get the real story. <laughs> and it's always good to talk to a number of people, isn't it? Because then you get a, a broad idea of what it's like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, One person's experience may not necessarily be your that's experience. True. That's absolutely true. So are parents encouraged to visit your school? Very much so, yeah. I mean, I think the most important thing when you're looking for schools is to go into the schools and get a feel for what they're like. See how the teachers interact with the pupils, see how the pupils interact with each other, and see how they interact with you as a visitor. All those things will um, give you a really good feel feel of what the school's like. Because you're right, as a parent when you when you start this, you haven't had any experience mm -hmm. with schools at all. This no. is your first one and no, it can right. feel like quite a big decision. It's massive. Do you, do you think <laughs> kids should have a practice session at school? Yes, I think it's good for children to come into the school environment, but what you're mainly looking for is just to see that they're comfortable with it. Um, quite often today, parents say to the child, it's your choice, which uh, amazes me because a child just doesn't have the capacity to make that sort of decision. Uh, so, not five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. five so really the parents need, it is their decision and they need to let the child know it's their decision because the, if they often they tell the child, oh, it's your decision. The child just wants to please the parent. So I'll say what the parent wants to hear and mm. it's not going to be informed and it's not going to be a, a rational um, view of things. And so. the child's not looking at the prospectus and going, no. yes, I think I'm going to have a solid learning environment there. They're just going, oh, that's a nice place. A place that's there. right, yeah. <laughs> I like this slide. I'd better go there. Yeah, quite. So what about talking to past students? That's important as well? Yes, it is. Um, and and looking, at, looking at the, the outcomes of the school, I mean, um, you know, looking at, at the results and things like that and how, how they've done it is important, but you've got to remember that um, all schools have a range of children in them, so there's always going to be the, the high-end children that um, schools well will put everywhere. up and, and do well, and there's also the ones that are struggling, and what's important is that the school can cater for both those ends and mm. the people in the middle. And that's, I and think, something that parents who maybe have children that aren't in that very, very top level really need to know about too, don't yeah. they, how, how your school's going to actually help their children. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today. Very good advice. You can check out Ficino School's website. That's on screen right now for more information about choosing the right school for your child, as well as dates for an upcoming information evening as well and school tours.